Dear students, having completed our course, I wanted to share with you which other follow-up courses at an advanced level you can take to further your knowledge and interest in bioinformatics. So we looked at the basic foundations in bioinformatics and how these can be sprouted to diverse topics. So each topic that we looked at has now been developed into a whole new field, such as computational genomics. In computational genomics, now we have, firstly, on the instrumentation side, we have the next generation sequencers. We have fast sequencing for the whole genomes, and therefore the data that is produced is massive. So in order to manipulate this data, in order to store this data, we need a lot of advanced algorithms. So the course that may deal with such topics is computational genomics. Uh, some of you might be interested in working on genomics and therefore if you want to advance your bioinformatics towards genomics you may want to take this course. So the topics that such courses on computational genomics they encompass these include the genome assembly, gene finding, gene annotation and the genome-wide association studies. Next, if you are interested in the protein level of biology, you may want to get into the computational proteomics course. So computational proteomics course is going to introduce to you how to sequence the proteins. And once you have sequenced the protein, how do you find the post-translational modifications? Also, once the entire protein sequence and post-translational modifications are elicited, how the protein can fold. So if the protein is folded and you have various secondary structures that are forming, how can these secondary structures come together? So this is a very interesting area as well. More so, the structural modeling approaches, such as the homology modeling approaches or the ab initio approaches that we studied earlier. You may also want to look at the protein-protein interaction or PPI by computational proteomics courses. Lastly, for advanced studies in interactive biology, you have systems biology. Systems biology is a rapidly advancing discipline within bioinformatics, which looks at integrative approaches from genomic, metabolomic, proteomic level, and it combines all of that information within, two, within one integrated system. The topics uh, that are covered in systems biology include metabolomics, transcriptomics, and network biology. So besides these three major areas in bioinformatics, we have some, we have some fantastic areas that are coming up recently. So these include the nano bio IT such as the confluence of nanotechnology, biology, and information technology. So, newer dimensions of science can be explored by combining these three very exciting disciplines. There may also be courses on computational drug design, and you would want to design your own drugs by using simple computational strategies. Last but not the least, the latest influx of bioinformaticians into personalized therapeutics. So the personalized medicine area in which you design drugs for specific patients is a hot cake these days.